As we get into Sunday night, we've got the full moon, but it's also going to have a reddish tint to it because we've got a lunar eclipse that's coming up. So we got three objects in play here, the sun, the earth, and then there's the moon. Well, as the moon makes its way into the earth's shadow, our atmosphere kind of scatters out all that blue light and it just leaves the red coloring behind. So that's what gives it kind of that reddish shade here. As far as the timing, again, it's going to be sun Sunday night for us here and you can see it begins with a partial eclipse around 1030. We won't really see that red color though for about an hour as we get closer to 1130 at night. Then you got quite a little while that you can check it out here about an hour and a half or so coming to an end as we approach one o'clock in the morning or at least getting rid of the red color and then we'll still see that partial eclipse coming to an end as we get a little closer to two o'clock in the morning. As far as that cloud forecast, well, we are going to have some clouds around during the evening hours, but we are expecting to see some clearing and hopefully just in time we'll see those skies kind of clear out a little bit for us. If we don't get to see it here, I think we will see some peaks of clear skies, but the next one we don't have to wait terribly long for November 8th of this year, 2022. And of course, a reminder, we've still got that solar eclipse that's coming our way. Got a little ways to wait on that one though until April 8th of 24. We will be in the path of totality, but that one's going to be a whole lot shorter, lasting about four minutes.